brought in the four frames of honey and I'm getting ready to cut them and drop them in the bucket below. So what we do is we basically just take the knife and since we're not using foundations, we just cut all the way through. And as you can see, the honey dripping everywhere, much to Heidi's chagrin. Um, and we cut all the way through. We cut all the way through. And then at this point, we'll take the frame, we'll set it down here uh, in the bucket. And so we're basically just going to try to cut everything directly into the bucket so that we make as little mess as possible, which as those of you that know me know is very difficult for me because I'm a messy kind of guy. You can see it kind of falling apart there. And we're just going to do our best to clean off the frame and get as much of the uh, comb into the bucket as we can to uh, squeeze it and strain it and get all the honey out of it. And then once we're done with this, what we'll do is we'll take the comb, uh, the empty frames back outside, and we will put them near the beehive and the bees will clean up uh, all the honey that was left on the frame that we did not harvest. And they will uh, take it and put it right back in the hive. So as you can see down in the bucket, um, there is uh, the comb. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to cut it up and smash it up. And once I get the remaining frames done, I will take the potato masher and I will mash all of this stuff up. And then we will set it outside with a lid on top of it and let the sun do its thing to keep it warm. And it will all drip down through uh, into the lower bucket uh, and we have a, a mesh uh, bag that is keeping any of the excess from falling down into uh, the lower bucket. So everything that's going to be in the lower bucket is just going to be pure honey. Um, that's all I got. Thank you.